All right. Hello, everyone. We are here and we are live for another superb, flowy class. You may want to have a block with you today. See how you're doing. If the hips are especially tight, so let me adjust my screen a bit there. But if the hips are tight, definitely have a block with you. And this will be a fairly fast paced class based on everything we've been working on. So let's settle into a thunderbolt pose when you're ready. Sitting the hips toward the heels. Tall through the spine. Simply bringing yourself here and now. Noticing balance across hips and shoulders. Notice the inhales and exhales as they gently move in and out of your nose. Draw the tip of the tongue toward the roof of the mouth. Moving into our breath of fire or Kapalavati skull shining breath. Active exhales, passive inhales in and out of the nose. Begin as you're ready. Focus on the rhythm rather than the speed. Just get yourself into a rhythmic action with your breathing. A bit of tingling sensation, as you know, up to the skull is completely normal, hence the name, skull shining breath. Continuing on. Breathe all the way in and out. Gently reach the hands forward onto the mat. Bring yourself into table pose. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Move in through three rounds of cat cow, arching through the back, gazing toward the navel, exhaling. Inhaling into your cow pose. And move back into your cat. Inhale into your cow and you can move in through these however feels good for your body. Exhale back into cat. Inhale into cow. Fabulous. Neutral spine. Belly draws in. Extend back through your right leg and back through your left leg. Welcome to plank. Full inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Hands and feet in the same position. Inhale, round the back as you stack the shoulders over neath, over top of the wrists, gaze forward, inhaling, exhaling, squeeze the arms, downward dog. Inhale, back to plank. Downward dog. And just Walk the dog a little bit here, bend one knee and then the other. Come into stillness. And let's walk the hands to the feet. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, stand up. Beautiful. Moving with the breath, connecting into our ujjayi breathing. Stay at the back of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale, circle the arms around and up. Exhale, heart center. Circle, inhale. Connect with that ujjayi breath. Gentle constriction, back of the throat, exhaling down. Circle around and up. Heart center. Around and up. Left hand forward, right hand back twist. Inhale, center. And twist the other way, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, center. Exhale, right hand down, left fingers reach to the right, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, left hand down to the outer thigh or outer knee. Chest is open, inhale, center. Back to the right, legs are strong. Stable through your foundation here. It's a great opportunity to connect in. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Notice the grounding down through your feet. Inhale, center. Last time, over to the right here. All the way back up to center and to the left. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Exhale, Utkatasana. Draw the hips back and down into your chair pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. All the way in. Notice the heat that's gently starting to build. Wrap your triceps in. Feel your humerus bones press into shoulder sockets. And when you're ready, on your next exhale, press into the feet, relax the arms by the sides. Excellent. Inhale when you're ready, circle the arms around and up, lift the right foot up, and step the right foot forward into a lunge. Exhale, pull the arms back, rounding through, and then reach forward, inhale. Exhale, circle. Inhale, forward. Exhale, circle, pull back. Reach up, step back. Hands through heart center. Circle around, left foot floats up. Left foot steps forward, lunge. Exhale, elbows pull back and down, hands pull back. Two more circles, hands push forward and circle around. Yes, inhale forward, circle around. Reach forward and up, press back, Tadasana. Hands down through heart center, hinge at the hips, Fingertips come all the way down to the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Walk yourself into plank. You can use your knees if you need. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. So you're breathing as you move. One more, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, Exhale, downward dog. 
Three breaths here, work on your arm placement. Wrap the triceps in. Neck should feel long, quadriceps engaged. Navel draws inward. Breathing in. Breathing out. Gaze forward, bend the knees. Hop or walk the feet up to the hands. Flat back pose, breathe in. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, circle the arms. Hands reach up, exhale, Utkatasana, into your chair. So we're at the top of the mat now. 10 pulses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hands down through heart center. Twist to the right, left elbow outside, right knee. Balance through the knees as you draw your heart over to the right. Belly draws in, left foot steps back, lunge. Inhale, your upper body comes up, right hand back of left leg, left fingers reach up and back. Good, now let's keep our arms open. Left elbow back to the outer left knee, right fingers can shine to the ceiling. Beautiful, two more like that. Inhale, sweep up and back. Exhale, come into the twist. You got it. One more time, let's come all the way up. And this time, look forward, both hands up. Step to chair. Oh la la. 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hands, heart center. Twist left, balance out through the knees, draw your thumbs to your sternum as you rotate to the left, contain the navel. Right foot steps back, you're in a lunge. Think of squeezing your legs toward each other, dragging your feet toward each other. Open your arms here. Inhale, float yourself up. Left hand back of right thigh, right fingers reach back, left knee is bent. Exhale, elbow outside the knee, left fingers to the sky. Good, inhale, come all the way up, reach back. Exhale, elbow to the outer knee, left fingers sweep up. Again, all the way up. And forward, elbow outside the knee. We're almost there. Inhale, sweep both hands up and step forward. Chair, 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Fold, fingertips come down toward the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, hop or walk back into your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Pause here. Perhaps walk the dog a little. Maybe some gentle twists as you point the knees one way and then the other. Tuning into down dog is a resting pose. Gaze forward, inhale. Bend the knees, hop or walk to the hands. Flat back, then fold. Flat back, inhale. 
When you're ready, exhale. Right foot steps back, lower the knee down. Anjaniyasana, hands sweep all the way up. And then pull the hands and the elbows back. We're circling with the arms, but opening the chest. Inhale, hands forwards. We exhale, circle them back. Inhale, push forward. Circle back, yes, nice and open. One more time. Inhale, circle and pull back. Left fingertips come down to the mat outside left hip. Of course, you can use a block. Right fingers reach to the left. Beautiful. Right hand comes forward and down. Right knee floats, left fingers sweep forward. Come into your revolved side lunge as you re reach to the back edge of your mat. Beautiful. Stay strong. Come all the way up. High lunge. Left fingers reach forward. Right leg floats up. Half moon. Right fingers to the ceiling. Breathe. You got it. Bend the left knee. Right foot steps into warrior two. Exalt. Right hand down. Left fingers reach back. Keep the bend in your left knee. You may want to walk your back leg in. Straighten the front leg. Inhale. Left fingers sweep forward and down onto left shin or onto the floor. Right fingers reach to the ceiling. Excuse me. As we find our triangle pose. Use a block if you need. Right fingers reach forward. Notice the shift in your hips. Right foot, right hip forward, left hip back. Come into your revolved triangle. Left fingers sweep to the ceiling. Right hand on block or shin. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Switch back to triangle. Right fingers up, left hand down. And revolve. Inhale. Exhale, open into triangle. Inhale, back to your revolved. Left fingers reach, squeeze the legs, bend into left knee, warrior one. Fingers sweep up, palms together or apart, whatever works. Hands sweep forward and down. Left leg floats up, three limb dog. Nice and long. Left knee bends, step behind yourself, wild thing. Hips lift up. And come back to plank. Flow, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Look forward, bend the knees, hop or walk to the hands. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps back, knee lowers down. Inhale, sweep up through the hands. Exhale, circle the arms back, pull the elbows in and do it again. Sweep hands forward. Circle them back. Push forward. Circle back. Let's do one more. Forward and back. Right fingers reach for the ground outside right hip. Left hand reaches over to the right. Breathe in and out of the nose. Left hand forward and down below left shoulder, left toes tuck. Lift left knee, come into your revolved side lunge. Look to the bottom edge of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look at that sun coming through. All the way up into your high lunge. Right fingers reach ahead of right toe. Left leg floats up. Left fingers float up. Welcome to Ardha Chandrasana on this side. Breathe in. 
Open through the right side just as much as you do through the left. Bend into the right knee. Step in, warrior two. Left hand comes down, right fingers reach back, right knee bends nice and deeply. Lengthen the right leg, you may want to walk your back foot in. Reach the right hand forward until you can't anymore and bring the hand to the shin or the foot coming into your triangle over here. Enjoying Tvikanasana. Pull the right hip back, navel draws in, left fingers forward, come into your revolved triangle. Left hand down, right fingers up. Notice the shift in the position of your hips. Don't mind the garbage truck in the background. Switch back, triangle, left hand up, right hand down. Notice the shift in your hips. Again, you can adjust your back foot, back to revolved. Stay with the breath, don't hold your breath. Come back, triangle. And back to revolved. Good. Feel your right hip pull back. Bend into your right knee as you sweep hands forward and up. Warrior one. Breathe in. Breathe out, contain through the core. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Right foot floats up and back. Three limb dog, long and strong here. Bend the right knee, step behind yourself. Wild thing, hips lift up. And come back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Breathe in and out here. Take breaks when you need. Bend the knees, look forward, inhaling. And exhale, hop the feet to the hands. Flat back. And stand up. Good. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Palms find one another, root down through the feet. And with your fingers, draw five circles to the right, just rotating your upper body. Contain through your core and hips. Enjoy those five circles, opening the door. Come into stillness, reach up, hands come forward and down, folding on the exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Step back, right foot comes down, lower the knee down. Inhale, sweep fingers all the way up. Exhale, right hand down, find your lunge as the right knee lifts and rotate. So you're looking at the bottom edge of your mat, breathe in, come back side or into your high lunge not side lunge sorry and left fingers are reaching ahead of the left foot come into your half moon beautiful open the heart here excellent warrior two and exalt Humble warrior, left shoulder inside left knee, interlacing the fingers behind the back, knuckles reach to ceiling. Release the hands, left arm slides inside and underneath left leg, come into bound side angle, open your chest. Look forward, step, take a few steps if you need, your right foot forward. Root the right foot down, float your upper body up, bringing your left leg with you and reach your left toes up to the ceiling.
Gently bend the left knee. Left foot comes back down to the mat. Undo through your legs. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, go through your flow. Looking forward, hopper walk up to the hands, flat back, stand up, circle the arms, inhale, palms together, fingertips reach to the ceiling, draw five circles to the left. Good. Just notice the containment of your core. Come back to center. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Flat back. Breathe in. Left leg steps back. Excuse me. Knee lowers down. Fingers sweep all the way up. Right hand comes down. Left hand reaches to right. Left hand forward and down, left toes tuck, left knee floats, revolve around, revolve side lunge. Inhale up, high lunge to Ardha Chandrasana, right fingers step ahead of the right toes, left fingers sweep up. Right knee bends, come all the way down, left foot to the ground, warrior two. Exalt. Humble warrior. Right shoulder inside, right knee. Fingers interlace behind the back. Knuckles reach to the ceiling. Release. Right arm sweeps inside, right leg, and underneath to come around back and grab the left hand. Open the chest a little bit more to the left. Then gaze forward and step forward with the left foot. Press into your left foot and slowly rise up and extend right toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly. Right knee comes down, right foot comes down, release through the arms, flat back, inhale, exhale, fold, hop or walk back, go through your flow. Stay with the breath. Good. One more cycle, bend the knees, look forward, hop or walk up to the hands. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, circle the arms. Palms together, gaze to the hands. Then go into a gentle back bend. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Hinge at the hips, fingertips all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right side, right knee steps back and down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, left fingers down, right hand to the left. Inhale, right hand forward and down. Float right knee, revolve around. Beautiful. Come all the way back up, high lunge, half moon. Right fingers reach up. Beautiful. Now moving into revolved half moon, right thigh faces down, right fingers to the ground, left hand to the ceiling. Let's do that two more times. Left hand down, right hand up, open the hips. Right hand down, left hand up, close the hips. Good. One more time, left hand down, Right hand up, open the hips. Right hand down, left hand up, close the hips. 
Good. Now from here, lower your right toes on the mat in line with your left heel and lower your right knee down. Walk yourself over to the left and land in Gomukhasana. Left leg is on top. You're facing the long edge of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just starting to prepare the body in tiny bits for eventually relaxing. We're almost there. Good. Hands walk over to the right, or to the left rather, so to the bottom edge of your mat. And now you can stay here, or you can wiggle, 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 using your feet to help you wiggle, and lift your hips so that your outer left thigh rests on the elbows, and come into your flying split. Bring the legs in, land back in Gomukhasana. Breathe in. <sighs> Releasing that exhale. Notice how you're starting to feel. Hands walk over to the top of the mat. Lift hips, come back to your lunge. Beautiful. And step forward. Flat back. And fold. Let your head relax. And step your right foot back again. So your right leg and knee are down. Fingertips on the ground, belly pulls in. Lengthen your left leg now. Hips pull over top of the right knee. Inhale forward, hip the hips. And back. Good, and forward. And back. So you can keep doing that, or next time you come forward, left leg can reach forward, coming into your Hanumanasana or splits. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Press into the palms, lift the hips, slide your front leg in until you can easily bend into the knee, lift back leg, find plank, vinyasa, flow. Bend the knees, hop or walk to the hands, flat back, beautiful. Left foot steps back, lower the knee down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, right hand down, left hand reaches to the right. And inhale, left hand forward and down, left knee floats up, exhale, revolve. Reach to the bottom edge of your mat. Inhale, high lunge, exhale, Ardha Chandrasana on the other side. Left fingers sweep up. Left hip stacks on right. Beautiful. Left hand down. Left thigh faces down. Right hand up. Revolve. And back. Right hand down. Left hand up. Left hand down. Right hand up. One more, right hand down, left hand up. Make sure we've really got that solidified in the body. Left hand down, right hand up. Excellent. Take your time. Left toes step back, same line as right heel. Left knee lowers down. Open your chest to the right, land in your Gomukhasana here. So adjusting, adjusting, stacking the knees. Breathe in, breathe out. Focus on the movement, focus on the breath. Notice the balancing of your hips here. Walk the hands over to the right. You can enjoy your twist or shimmy, shimmy, shimmy through the legs. 
Lift your hips, get the outer right thigh onto the triceps, find a balance and open up your legs and flying splits or revolved flying splits, I should say. And cross back through the legs, gently landing back into your Gomukhasana. Breathe in. Breathe out, walk the hands over to the left. Undo from that posture and just simply walk your left leg back. Adjusted hip height, right hand outside, right foot. Breathe in, chest is open. Breathe out, bend into back leg, lengthen front leg, hips pull back. Yes. Inhale forward, bend into front knee. Exhale back. And forward. Good. And back. Option, uh, shine the toes to the ceiling and slide the right foot forward fully into your splits for a couple of breath cycles here. You're tall wherever you are at, focus on your breathing. We don't spend too much time in these postures, so just notice how you're feeling today. Press into the hands, draw the belly in, right hip pulls back. Bend into the knee, float left leg, step plank, flow. Pausing in downward dog. Breathe in and out. Beautiful. Let your head relax. Bend the knees, look forward. Hop or walk into seated position here, extending the legs out in front. So Dandasana staff pose. You're tall through the spine. Let your right toes relax out and draw your right foot into the inner left thigh. Jyani Shirsasana, sitting tall, inhale. Navel draws in, exhale, fold forward over left leg. Just a few cycles of breath per posture here. So make the breath worthwhile. Full through the nose, inhales. And full exhales through the nose. Maybe shifting into your balanced breathing at this point as we'll be on the floor a little bit more. Slowly release so you can sit up, bend your left knee and sweep your left foot all the way to the outer side of your right thigh. So you're facing the side of your mat, ish. Revolve, right elbow outside left knee, or you could hug your left leg with your right arm. You could look behind your left shoulder, right hand is like a stop sign. If a bind is available, you can slide your right arm around your left leg and bind the hands together, helping you rotate. So we do the binds to deepen our posture, not to try to pull us out of alignment. So be kind with yourself here. Slowly release. We're shifting into Gomukhasana, but take a moment to face the top of your mat. So just wiggle yourself around so your knees face mostly forward. Hips are balanced here. Let's reach the right fingers up and then to the upper back. Left hand can come onto right elbow or if available, left fingers can sweep down and around back to reach up for the right. Navel draws in and you can gently fold forward. Release hands down to the mat. 
One more breath here. And inhale, come all the way up. Left leg sweeps all the way around back as we adjust into our pigeon pose, chest stays tall. Breathe in, you can keep your fingertips down on the ground. Optional to breathe out, bend your back leg. You can grab onto the ankle. If it's available, you can bring your foot to your head. Gently release from where you've gone and come into Sleepy Pigeon for a few breaths. Enjoy that beautifully long stretch through the whole body. Especially through the spine and the outer thigh on the right side and the glutes. Fabulous. Inhale, start to walk yourself up. Plant the palms, tuck the left toes and come up into your downward dog. Little shimmy through the hips. Look forward, bend the knees. Hop back into a seat, lengthening your legs out in front. Dandasana staff pose. Take your time. You're tall in the spine. Left toes relax. Left heel draws in toward inner right thigh. Knee is out to the side. Setting up for our Janu Shirasasana over here. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the right leg. Hands could reach for the ankle or the foot. Be where you need to be. Beautiful. Gently release to come up, bend the right knee and sweep that foot over to the outer side of the left thigh on the mat. You're tall, right leg hugs in. You can revolve to look over your right shoulder, left elbow outside the thigh. If available, you can go into the bind, but remember, it's only if it's easily accessible, because if it's really challenging to get the bind, then you're compromising the posture. So enjoy the space that you are in today. Breathe in, breathe out. And slowly release the arms and adjust yourself into your Gomukhasana right leg on top. So take a moment again to just shimmy yourself so that the knees face forward. Make sure your glute muscles aren't being pulled or your hamstrings in a strange way, but your Gomukhasana feels good. You're tall. Left arm can come up to pat yourself on the back, right hand on left elbow. Breathe in and out of the nose. If it's easily accessible, right hand can sweep down and around and reach up to meet the left fingers in a monkey grip. Hold forward. Contain the core, weight is in the hips. Gently release your hands to the floor. Inhale, start to float your upper body up. Sweep the right foot and leg around back 
adjusting into your pigeon. So you'll need to shift the hips a bit. Left knee is wider than the left hip. Up onto the fingertips, open your chest. Optional to stay here. You could bend the back knee, reach for the ankle. Maybe you can reach for the foot and draw head to foot. Take your time. Come into sleeping pigeon when you're ready. Notice your breath. Slowly start to bring yourself up onto your elbows. And just walk your back leg in and your front leg back into plank with your forearms down and then lower the hips. Untuck your toes. Welcome to Sphinx Pose. Elbows under the shoulders. Gently press into the hips. Long legs. Optional to float up, seal. Elbows down, back to Sphinx. Three lion's breaths. Exhale through the mouth, stick your tongue way out. Inhale, look up to your third eye. Two more. Beautiful. Take your time. Open the elbows to let your chest come down. Reach your right hand forward. Left hand helps you to roll onto your back. You're on the back with bent knees, feet on the mat, shoulder blades flat. Choice is yours, bridge or wheel. Set yourself up to what feels best. We're doing one rep. So find your way to wherever you're going. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. If you went into wheel, squeeze your elbows together to gently bring yourself down. Hips come to the ground when you're ready. Right thigh crosses over left. Twisted roots, arms could be out to the sides. Just gently shimmy your hips to the right to lower the knees to the left. And come back to center, adjust your hips, switch it up, left thigh over the right, hips shimmy to the left, knees lower down to the right. Just a few thorough cycles of breath here. Come back to center. Soles of feet together, knees open wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. Shoulder blades flat. Moving into our tonal breathing. Eyes are closed, focus into third eye. Intention is to clear away any residual debris that may be on our path today. 
Breath is in and out of the mouth. On the final cued breath, we will exhale everything out and hold that emptiness as long as we can. With ease, begin. Inhale. Exhale. And in. And out. Move your belly. Move your ribs. Move your back. Move your lungs. Stay with the breath, gently lengthen the legs down one at a time, dragging your heels along the mat. Keep breathing. Arms are relaxed wherever is comfortable. Inner gaze is to the third eye. One more in, all the way out, hold, When your inhale naturally arrives, let it come in and hold it for 10 seconds. Allow your natural breath to return with ease. As you soften into being here and now, observing the third eye. Soften the skin, relax the muscles, sink heavy into the bones.
When you're ready, let's flex the feet and point the toes and then do it relatively quickly to rock your body. Offering your nervous system that space of softening and safety. Come into stillness. Drag the heels along the mat as you draw your knees into the chest and give yourself a hug, rock side to side. Roll all the way to one side or roll yourself up in whichever way is most comfortable for you into a seated position. position. Sit tall. Notice how you're feeling. Notice all the space you've cleared for yourself today. Notice the path that is in front of you. And notice your willingness to walk your path, your authentic path of truth in this life. Let's draw the palms to Anjali Mudra. Sitting tall, let's close our practice today with the chant of one Om, followed by Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. -i. Exhale. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you for our practice today. Namaste. Hmm. And I sure hope you feel superb and that you got some great little bits of strength and maybe a little sweat and stretch and all of those things. Let me know how it went for you in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll see you again very soon. This is a class to continuously revisit. Yeah, again and again and again. Okay, see you all soon. Bye.